Okay, we're replacing this net gear switch with another one because I believe that it is totally faulty. And before we pulled all the cables out, it was making a hell of a clunking noise. So, yep. And replacing it with this nice little baby. I ain't got many connectors at the end, but that doesn't matter because we're only doing, I think it's just a crossover lead we're doing. And uh, that one, John. We do want 48 though. We need 48 plus 4, really. Oh well, we'll have to, if we have to, we'll put another switch in separate, but. Sorry? So it's a 48 port switch. We can use these two here for uplinks, and these two here could be fibre, but we don't need to use them at the moment. But I have got the fibre connections if we need them. And next job, so put that back in there, just to connect those two linking brackets onto the side to fasten it into the cabinet. Okay, put the two mounting brackets on. Dum, dum, dum. What will you know if we plug the power lead in as well, it makes it a lot easier to access it than when you try and get it when it's in already in there. This, I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, that one's the crossover. Uh, and then that one's pretty right one. So. Yeah, so I'll take that off. I say what we've done there, what John's done is took all these cables out, which are, it's a 48 port hub. And what we're going to do now is disconnect the power all these of course yeah disconnect the power take that switch out and then uh, put the new switch in so we'll we'll show you what to do well, we'll show you when it starts to put the new switch in so don't forget when you start doing the final two screws you're going to have to support the back of the uh, switch John's not feeling very well he's got a cold I'm going to give him a hand, so I'll pause that for now. Also, what we're doing, we're making sure that there is no fault with the power lead, so we're changing the power lead for the new one that came with the new switch, just to be extra vigilant. So what we'll do now, we'll plug the device in to make sure it's nice and firm and right in. But we're not going to plug it in until, of course, we, yeah, until it's actually in situ. So, so make it do All right, John. Sure. Have the others. Okay, we'll get by just tightening these up. So what we've just done now is put the one with the black lead on is an uplink, which is a crossover cable. The other one is just a standard printer cable. Hopefully we've got enough ports left to put this lot in. Okay. So John will start putting them in. They don't have to be in sequence, but normally what you do is the shortest ones wherever you're starting through, and then the longest ones the furthest distance away so it fits nicely in the switch. So I'll, we'll film a few and then you don't want to watch all this is boring. But you'll, 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 get the, you'll get the picture. Okay. Okay. Monotonous process, but you've got to set upside down and then set the right way up. It doesn't really matter. 
and just make your way along. Okay. Okay. Well, enter there, enter there. That's the rest of them. Okay. So we're going to give it a power up, and then we'll test the machine in a minute. Okay. Yep. Give it a go. Okay. We have lights. It's about time now until it does a self check as well, and then we'll start checking the PCs. Okay, it looks like it's working fine anyway. We checked one of the PCs in the other room, it seems to be logging on. So, £219, and we've got a full classroom running again. Thank you. All map drives are there, so yeah, working great. Thanks for watching.